The Defense Science Board is a board that was established by the Office of Secretary of Defense to explore various aspects of defense science. It could be in a particular technology investment, it could be how the defense research establishment is investing to focus on a particular capability gap. So uh, in this case, uh, the Defense Science Board was evaluating the defense research establishment, um, the quality, the impact that they're having uh, on the department and on the nation. They were looking at the Army Research Laboratory, the Air Force Research Laboratory, uh, the Navy Research Laboratory, as well as some of the sister research organizations in, in other parts, uh, the DOE, and an in industry as well to do some benchmarking. It was a great visit. So the kinds of things we do, we show them our business processes, the technologies we're investing in, how we go about making decisions, prioritizing investments, how our investments are then linked to the warfighter requirements and capabilities needs. So the feedback we got was absolutely exceptional. Um, I think overall the Defense Science Board for their study found that the defense research labs are uh, characterized by high quality science, technology tr transition, as well as uh, acquisition. And from their standpoint, ARO's Open Campus Initiative, where we're working with academia and industry to develop close collaborations and focus uh, the broader S&T community on challenges associated with the Defense Department and the Army um, was uh, an exemplar for the rest of the Defense Department. If the Defense Research Labs did not exist today, they would have to be reinvented. In other words, they felt that the Defense Research Labs were on a critical path to the Defense Department's acquisition process. And I think that speaks very highly of the Defense Labs and the value moving forward for the country. So Open Campus is certainly unique within um, the Defense Research uh, Establishment. So from an ARL perspective, Dr. Tom Russell, three years ago or so, brought a vision to the, to the lab where we would work very closely with industry, academia, to work closely, side by side, to tear down the fences that were perceived of the academic and industrial world in terms of working with the Defense Department, bring them in, work side by side with us, co-located, to focus on the most challenging problems. And I think we all understand that um, the solutions to these technology challenges are of a multidisciplinary nature. So when you get the best and brightest minds from academia, industry, and the Army Research Laboratory working closely, we're able to address challenges in ways that we never were able to do before. So from a uniqueness standpoint, um, it, it is unique. And I think the successes that are beginning to come out of the concept and the business model are starting to make believers out of leadership throughout the Army and the Defense Department. So the Defense Science Board is, is an august group of industry and academic leaders with lots of experience in this case science uh, and in both the academic and industrial world. They're here to pass judgment on us and to make res recommendations about things we're doing well and things we need to, to consider for the future. Um, one of the things that they uh, came to the rest of the broader community was that the ARL Open Campus concept is a model for the Defense Department in terms of a way to, to develop innovation, to get the best and brightest minds working together. And they recommended that other parts of the Defense Department um, learn from that and use that as a model moving forward. From an open campus perspective, um, I think they also recognize that the value of the collaborations at the researcher level. So it's not only the output that comes out of the collaborations, but it's also the quality of the environment that our scientists and engineers uh, work in, the need for our folks to be able to, to live in an ecosystem, if you will, to be able to go out, and not only for researchers to come into ARL, but for our researchers to go out to academia and industry. Of course, the director of ARL has established uh, a goal of 15% of our workforce to go out into these types of arrangements, whether it's sabbaticals for a year in, in an academic environment or industrial partnership. Um, being able to get out and 
work with other researchers, not just on our facilities, but in theirs as well. And I think that speaks highly, and that was recognized as a, as a sound model business practice by the Defense Science Board. So I think we should all feel very good about the, the environment and the culture that we've created. We've got a long way to go, but I think the, the fact that we're seen as vital to the Defense Department, the fact that we're, our innovative approaches to doing research are seen as a model, um, really should make us all feel good. But, but that's not enough, right? So the, the real neat environment that is the Army Research Laboratory is really challenging problems that the Army has to solve state-of-the-art laboratory facilities where people can come and work on equipment that they can't find elsewhere, and the intellectual capital and our people that we have here all working together. If you want to get rich, the Defense Department, the Army Research Laboratory is not the place to work. But we all feel a sense of, of pride, of focus on the country, and that draws us, that keeps us here. It gives us a, self, uh, a, a feeling of self uh, accomplishment that we're doing something good for the country. We all have that in common and we work very hard together to solve these challenging problems and to be cited as a model organization in terms of the way we're doing business should mean a lot to the entire workforce in the organization. Mm -hmm.